Earlier this season, the folks at Momotion reached out with the opportunity to test the Luba all-wheel drive 3000 robotic lawnmower. Now don't get me wrong, I love to mow my yard, but I was thinking that this robotic option might be nice in an instance where I don't have time to do so or I'm out of town because we all know that the lawn waits for no one. Now I've been using this mower pretty frequently now for about the last six weeks and I wanted to share my experience with you, so stay tuned. Now this is my first experience with a robotic lawnmower, so I wasn't sure what to expect. Now the target demographic for the Luba is the average homeowner who's short on time, doesn't have the ability or doesn't like to mow, and wants to keep their lawn well manicured without hiring a lawn service to maintain their lawn. Now Luba comes in three models, the 1000, the 3000, and the 5000. The key difference between each model is the size of lawn that they can handle, anywhere from a quarter acre on the 1000 up to a one and a quarter acre on the 5000. Also differentiated between these models is the battery size and the slope degrees that they can handle. The rest of the features I found have been fairly similar. Now no perimeter cable is required. It's as easy as setting up the Luba and it's ran by the RTK navigation system via satellite and smart app control. Now you can manage multiple zones within your lawn from within the app and you have the ability to schedule mowing frequency and routes within each zone within the app. Now with the all wheel drive feature, the Luba has the ability to handle slopes of up to 65 degrees for the all wheel drive 3000 that I've been using in my lawn. Now with the model I have, it comes with a 10 amp hour lithium ion battery and has the ability to mow for up to three hours on a single charge, allowing me to cover my entire lawn and get it mowed on one charge. Now the setup of Luba was fairly simple. It all came in one box, which included the Luba, the required wires and connectors, the posts for the RTK satellite and the charging station. Now I will say that the installation was a bit confusing with the directions that they included in the box, but once I got into the app, it was had better instructions and made the installation pretty simple and I had everything set up within about 45 minutes. Now the next step after getting everything out of the box was to download the Momotion app and add my Luba into the app so I could control it. Now following the on-screen prompts made it a pretty simple process. Once the app was set up, it was then time to map out the zones I wanted Luba to mow. This consisted of connecting my smartphone via Bluetooth to control the Luba from my phone and following the on-screen prompts to create mowing zones. Now to set up each mowing zone, you're physically going to control it with that Bluetooth functionality and drive Luba around the perimeter of the zone you want to create to save it in the app. Now after this step is completed, you can add no-go zones around obstacles such as garden beds and trees within the mowing zone to ensure Luba will avoid those areas. Now this step is then repeated for each zone that you want to create within your property. Now don't worry if you mess up this step, you can always delete the zone and start over or even alter and modify boundary lines at a later point. Now once you have all of your zones set up and ready to go, you can enter the app and select a zone that you want Luba to mow. The app has a few pre-programmed task modes such as high grass, efficient cutting, and fine cutting. And after using this for a few times, I found that the customized setting worked best for me. This allowed me to control the stripe spacing, the mowing speed, the obstacle detection mode, and even the cutting route, which is the angle of the stripes, that I could alter each way from different mowings. It also allowed me to choose how many border laps this Luba would take around the border that I created and whether that happens before or after it stripes. Now after you do that, it's as easy as hitting start and letting Luba do its thing.
The setup was simple. There were no boundary wires. It was easy to download the app and program my zones. Now I am a little bit more tech savvy, so if you are not, some of these steps may be more difficult for you to accomplish. I liked the variability of the settings. It was easy to change zones, boundaries, stripe directions, mowing speed, and mowing height, all from within the app on my cell phone. Now Luba actually did a good job of cutting the grass. I was doubtful of this when I saw the four small razor-like blades when I opened the box on day one, but it did a great job of giving me a decent cut on my lawn. Now how long will these last? I'm not sure, but Luba did send me some replacement blades for the unit and they are available for purchase because I don't think that you'd be able to sharpen them after using them. Now probably the best thing I found about Luba is it did fantastic on my hills. Now if you've watched this channel in the past you know that I have some hilly areas in my back lawn and it did a great job of maneuvering that hilly terrain in any direction and didn't struggle keeping those slopes and handling them. Now Luba also did a great job of returning to the charging station after mowing and it charged quickly. Once it finishes the mowing job, it will automatically go back to the docking station, set itself up and recharge itself with no interaction from the user needed. Also, Luba is extremely quiet. Coming in at less than 60 decibels, you can hardly hear it when it's mowing. Now the biggest thing that I didn't care for on Luba is the height of cut maxed out at 2.8 inches. Now for me, I have a fescue lawn and I typically will mow from three and a quarter to three and three quarters depending on the time of year. Now this just isn't possible with Luba. I hope in the future that they give the option of an increased mowing height on future releases of this product. They would widen their market and allow users more variability on height of cut in their lawns. Now I also found that the edge cut around the borders and no-go zones left a lot to be desired. Now even mapping these borders out precisely left Luba in some situations going off the border or not cutting and leaving spaces around the border. Now you're still going to have to trim with Luba unless you're in a wide open area. So it's not a 100% automated in relation to trimming. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about purchasing Luba. Now my biggest thing I would recommend to you if you purchase Luba is avoid mounting this RTK satellite on the pole that comes with the unit unless you are in a very wide open space. Save yourself the time, mount this thing directly to your roof eave like I ended up doing. Now I was having some issues at first when I mounted this on the pole with Luba receiving adequate satellite signal which caused it to stop and veer into areas that I didn't want it to go. And also note that if you move the pole after you program zones or move the base station, you're gonna to have to delete everything and reprogram your zones with the RTK satellite in a new position, which costs you more time. Now in my personal experience, I also found the smart obstacle avoidance system to be a little clunky. Now when the front bumper detected contact, what it would do is it would shut down the mower for a safety feature, restart itself, back up, and then do a large circle around and usually miss the spot that it was supposed to mow. Now this usually caused me to have to go back physically with my other mower and mow those areas or use the trimmer in spots that it missed. Last thing I would improve is making the app a little more user friendly in relation to making it operate more smoothly with less errors and bugs. Now since I've had this, several updates have been released and the company seems to be addressing issues and user complaints with the app being updated and it's getting a little easier to use. So that's a great sign from a motion that they're taking user uh, feedback into consideration, getting updates on the app and making it more streamlined and easy to use. So after taking my experience and all the pros and cons that I discussed earlier into consideration, I had to ask myself the question, would I purchase Luba? Now for me personally, I love to be out in the yard. I love to mow my yard. So I probably wouldn't purchase Luba for my own personal use. Now this Luba all-wheel drive 3000 retails for $23.99. 
To put that in context, I paid about $1,000 for my Toro Time Master a few years ago, and it takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to cut and trim my 7,500 square foot lawn. Luba takes a little over two hours to cut my entire lawn, and then I go out and trim for 10 or 15 minutes and blow everything off. So in all actuality, it takes a little longer with Luba, but I'm not having to go out and actually um, do anything in the lawn outside of trimming for, for 10 to 15 minutes. Now that said, if you're someone that hates to mow your lawn and you want the freedom to schedule mowings or manually have it mow while you're doing other things around the house, this is a competitively priced option on the market with similar robot mowers. And I would highly recommend you looking into Luba further. Now it was easy to set up. It was fairly easy to operate in my opinion. And I would only caution you to take into consideration that this mower only mows up to a maximum of 2.8 inches in height. So if you like to mow higher, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, additionally, if you have a lot of obstacles or a lot of tree cover in your lawn, it would make difficult. I found that it made uh, Luba difficult to receive satellite signal in some of the areas. So that's something to take into consideration as well. If you have a lot of things and your yard isn't completely wide open. Now, all that being said, this was an extremely nice robot mower considering that there was no perimeter wire to install, the setup was easy, and everything worked as intended once I got the kinks worked out. Now, there's definitely a market for this for those of you who want to automate your mowing and spend that time doing other things. Now, the issues that I had with the unit as discussed earlier are all things that I think Momotion can improve upon or uh, alter and change to improve in future updates or releases of this product. Now me personally, I'm going to continue using Luba in my yard to save me some time on my weekly mowing. I'll probably use this like I have been the last six weeks or so at once a week doing a maintenance cut to keep things down uh, while growth is up. And then I once a week on usually on the weekends will hit it with my Toro Time Master and get everything uh, striped up like I usually do. Now what this does is it makes it easier for me keeping that grass height down, making the Time Master cut when I come back through very easy, very quick because the grass isn't as tall. I think the maintenance cut and having the ability to use this while I'm out of town or doing other things is an awesome option to have in the lawn. Now if you're interested in learning more about Luba, or checking out the specifications for yourself, check out the links in the description below to learn more. Now, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, drop a comment or question below and consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss future updates about Luba and other things that I post. I appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you next time out in the lawn.